welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a Dollar Tree DIY and I know that some of you are probably really sick of Dollar Tree DIYs but you know what that's all I can afford guys whoever crafts and stuff knows that you go to that craft store to buy everything and it might be 50% off or 60% off but you are still leaving the store with like $40 worth of supplies so that's why you get those memes on the internet that says you know, buy it for $9, go to the craft store, make it yourself for 90. See, that's you guys. <laughs> that's not me. That's the people that like to go to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and buy all their supplies where I like going to the Dollar Tree and buying all my stuff so I can, my total is like $7 for this or $5 for this, even though I leave that Dollar Tree spending 40 bucks. But anyways, so today I'm going to be making a tray out of frames and I'm sure that you guys have seen a ton of videos on this and everyone said, oh, you copied, they copied so-and-so, they copied so-and-so. This has been a Pinterest thing for years. It has been on my Pinterest board forever. So whoever says that they copied somebody, you guys, everybody copies everybody anyways. That's how we get inspired to do things. Everyone just has their own little twist on how they do it. So, you know, just, you know, appreciate people for even trying. So, okay, that's my little rant right now. And I am just gonna be using four of these cause I want a really thick tray. I'm gonna glue all these little bad boys together. I'm gonna take out the glass. I'm gonna do some spray painting. And I'm gonna be making the most adorable looking freaking tray I've ever seen in my life. And it's only gonna cost me four dollars for that at least. And then I, we had leftover, thank goodness, we had leftover drawer pulls from our kitchen that we redid a couple years ago. So we had two left and yes, so then I don't have to buy those. But I'm pretty sure you can find these pretty expensive at your hardware stores. And then I also have this Serenity Blue chalk paint. I don't even know if I've actually spray painted with chalk paint, but I'm really excited to try this. I got some E6000. I had a little one and I used it all the other day making my shelves. So got that. And then I had contact paper, but the color in the contact paper was almost the same as another YouTuber's uh, tray. So I totally felt like that would be like so copying. So I didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to come up with something else. I don't know how this is all gonna work because I'm gonna spray paint the glass as well on one of these, I don't know. We're gonna see and we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna do my own thing, do it my own way and hopefully this comes out fantastic. So, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get started. And this video is in collaboration with Caitlin from Crafts by Caitlin. She does a ton of Dollar Tree and a ton of farmhouse DIYs. You're gonna absolutely love her channel. So when you're done watching my video, make sure you go and check hers out. I will leave her link and channel in the description box below, so make sure you go check her out. But as you can see here, I'm just tearing all my picture frames apart except the bottom one. I'm going to keep that cardboard in and keep the glass in. And now I'm just taking my E6000 and my hot glue gun and I am going to glue all the frames on top of each other. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Alright, so it took a little while for the E6000 theme to dry. Probably good. I probably left it in there for about an hour or so. And now I'm just going to take my chalk paint and I am going to spray paint the entire thing, including that glass. And right here, I spray painted my hair into there. I don't know if you guys all have this issue as well, but every single time I do anything, my hair is always stuck in everything or something. Like I probably have tons of my hair painted to my walls of my house. <laughs> All right, so 
so once my tray was dry, I just brought it inside, and this is what it looks like. So stinking cute. I love this color so much. And now I'm just going to take my chalk paint, and I am just going to put it on this glass because, of course, you know, my professionalism here. And I'm just going to, like, lightly brush all this chalk paint along the sides. And, yes, it's not perfect, and there's a little bit of glue showing, but you know what? We're okay with that. And anyway, so I'm just going to lightly brush all this paint on each side. And yeah, so that is what you're going to see. You don't know how I shiver inside. Doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because you're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was in my pants now. So I decided to paint the inside as well, just like the outside. I really want to do the contact paper, but you know, I changed my mind and used this anyways, and I really love how this turned out in the end. And now I am just adding the handles onto the side and I'm totally eyeballing <laughs> the measurements of this so they may not be super perfect but to the eye they will be. <laughs> and right here is me actually like that is how I eyeballed it. <laughs> And I actually made this for my kitchen. I really wanted something to put my little canisters on. I never really knew what to do with them or how to decorate them in my kitchen. But I'm so glad I made this. They all fit perfect in this little square tray. And I also got to add a succulent. So how stinking cute. <laughs> So that is it. If you notice, I'm wearing different clothes because it's the next day. I totally forgot to make an outro yesterday. It's pretty busy. But anyways, um, thank you so much for Caitlin for collabing with me. I think I had to beg her to do this. I don't know, but if I did, make sure you go and check her channel out. I cannot wait to see what kind of farmhouse decor she did. Anyways, if you, uh, if you like videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Written down the words to say 